So, there we go. Oh, goodness me, look at my hair. It's pretty windy out there. But, um, to catch and, well, not even catch and release. We didn't really have to catch him. He was in the middle of the road, so they seem to do that a lot around here, even on hot days. You'll just see them lying while you're driving right in the middle of the, in the middle of the um, road with, there was a semi-trailer coming and I thought, oh my God, he's going to be toast. So I thought I'd better save him. And now he's living in the dam along with Urkel Turkle. So if you've got any suggestions for what we should call this one, leave it in the comments. Bye. Circle 2. Um, found him on the way to physiotherapy right in the middle of the freeway. Big semi trailer about to run over him, so I put my indicator, emergency indicator on, and off I went chasing turtles. And I didn't have to chase too hard, it was pretty still. So I'm just going to open the gate and um, we'll do a release into the dam if these alpacas don't try and eat me like I always do. They're not very friendly, let's put it that way. They seem to think that they own the dam. Alright, here we go. Let's go over to the dam. Don't get any ideas, buddy. Go on. Yeah, don't growl at me. Away. You're going where I want to go, you num nut. Go away. Go on. Don't threaten to bloody spit on me. Go on, get out of here. Alright, there he is. Got any funny bloody ideas? No. Go away. Go on. Don't think about bloody squaring off with me. I will punch you. Go on. You realise this is my dam, yeah? Don't own the dam. Mm. Anyway, apparently the mate is going to get them shorn and sell them off or give them to a sanctuary or something. We're hoping it's sooner rather than later, but we'll see. Mm.